What if every door you open led to a new and unique experience? If you had the book of doors, what would you hope to discover and step into? Each closed door holds the promise of a fresh opportunity. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about the book of doors. This is an exciting story that mixes fantasy and magic together. The story also reminds me a little bit about Dark Matter. Although I didn't read the book, I did watch the show and loved the show. So it had some similarities in that sense. I have two favorite characters. Um, the main character is Grandpa and um, Mr. Weber. So the main character's name is Cassie. And these two people in her life really mean a lot to her. And I feel like they taught her a lot and accepted her and really gave her good advice. And so um, I just think both of the characters also had some similarity in their personalities. And so that's why um, I love them in this book. There are a couple quotes I wanna share with you that have uh, some similar themes um, regarding how you feel about the world and that we have all been there. So the first quote is, um, this world is awful and mean and I hate it. That books have always been a place I can go. So I think, like I said before, we've all been there where uh, we feel like the world is against us. And what do we do to get away from that? Maybe we play video games, maybe we get lost in books. And so um, we've all been there. Another quote is, but you have to let things go or it will eat you up. Let things pass. I definitely 100% believe in this quote because um, time does heal everything. Sometimes it may take longer for someone to heal from something, but time does heal everything. And I do believe that we should also um, try to forgive if we can and really um, don't keep things um, in us because yeah it will eat us up and you know why do you want to waste time thinking about negative things or just being in that negative space when you could just let it go and move on with your life and then this last quote here I will omit like who says what because again I don't want to like give things away so I'll omit who says what um, life is full of hard and scary things sometimes you know you are going to face something hard and scary but you have to get on with it no point bleeping and moaning get it done what a pragmatic advice right um sometimes it's hard to hear right like we want to complain about things i'm definitely you know not innocent in that i definitely complain about things and so sometimes it's just we got to get stuff done, you know, so, and the more we procrastinate on it, the more it feels daunting. So just some like practical advice this book has, and I really took it to heart. There are some things that I did kind of like dislike about this book. Some of the action scenes was a little bit underwhelming in my opinion, and some of the action scenes was nicely um, describe so how I would describe it is like how the boys do their like shock factor or violent scenes you're so curious to still look but it's not too grotesque where you have to look away in my opinion um, also I felt like in the book the main character had a lot of missed opportunities that she didn't take advantage of that she could have prevented certain things from happening and to me again that was like a failed attempt on the main character um, for that. I also have some questions about Hugo. I won't go into detail, but for those of you who read it, message me. I definitely want to talk about this character right here. Overall, I think this is a good book, so I would give it a four stars. Pacing I thought was good and character development I thought was good as well. Please let me know your thoughts. Did you like this book? Didn't you like this book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.